Hi guys, welcome back to another week of live gymnastics. I'm Coach Caitlin. Today we're focusing on handstands, so make sure you guys have plenty of room so you don't get hurt. And we're also gonna review what we did last week and the week before, so make sure you guys have a soft area just in case. Um, so when we're doing our forward rolls, you don't get hurt. All you need today are plastic cups and a ball. Um, we're gonna do some cup bowling today that you guys can do on your own time as well. And make sure to remember if you guys are taking pictures and videos during this time to tag us on Facebook and Instagram um, so we can keep up with what you guys are doing. We miss seeing you guys in the gym and we want to see you guys as much as we can. So we're going to start with our warm up. So stand up tall. And can we run? Can you do your knees high? Let me see. How high can you get your knees? Like we're marching. Nice job. Can we try and gallop today? So what we're gonna do one foot in front. Can you put open close? Just like that. I'll do it this way. Ready? So you put one foot out and put them together. And we'll try and skip. So step. Hop on one foot. Step. Hop on one foot. Step. Hop. We'll go back and you skip. Next up, do you think we can jump? So pull our feet together, we'll put our hands up. Can you jump? Nice jump. Do you think we can jump on one foot? That one's tough. And can you switch to your other foot? Nice jump. Do you think we can walk like a flamingo? Remember this, so hands on our hips. Put your foot to your knee and step. Up and step. We'll turn around and do the same thing. Good. Can we do our tippy toes? Hands up. Up on our tippy toes. And we'll go all the way back. We'll do it again. Let me see how high you can be. Nice job. This time, can you walk like a penguin? So put our hands down by your side. I want the top of your feet to be off the ground, so just the back of your feet are in on the floor. Just like a penguin, we waddle. We'll go all the way back. And we'll do one more. Go all the way back. This time, can we jump like a frog? So hands and feet down, jump, jump. Can you do another one? I might hit the computer, so I don't want to. <laughs> we'll go all the way back. Jump, jump. And we'll do our bear walk, so hands down. We'll turn and go all the way back. And do you think we can try a crab walk today? So you're going to sit. We're going to go into your table. So hands in, feet down. Bring your belly up. We're going to walk. Just like that, in your table. We'll do it again. Time. Can we stand up? This time we're going to do kicks. So kick way in front of you. Jump. Go forward. We're turn around. Go all the way back. And this time, can we kick backwards? And yeah. And we'll kick sideways. But you don't kick anything. Next up, and pick one more, whatever you want to do. I'm going to do tippy toes. We'll go all the way down. And all the way back. Nice 
job. Can you guys sit on your bums? We'll do our stretching. So let me see you butterfly. Put our feet together. We'll flap our wings. Good job. Let me see how fast you can go. And so. Can you bring your knees down to the floor? So you're gonna push. Push your knees down as far as you can. What about smelling your toes? Do they smell good or are they stinky? Could do it again. Nice job. We'll put our legs out. What is this stretch called? Do you remember? Our straddle stretch. So we want straight knees. We don't want them bent. And we don't want them out here. Do you think you can put your knees straight up? And put them nice and flat. And we're going to reach up. Can we clap four times? One, two, three, four. And can you reach down and touch one side? Keeping our knees straight, I want you to try and reach all the way to your toes. Nice job. And we'll reach up and clap five times. You ready? One, two, three, four, five. And we'll reach down, touch the other side. Reach all the way with straight knees. Who can touch both sides? Nice job. Can you take your fingers and walk them to the middle as far as you can? Make sure our bum stays on the ground. So you want your fingers to go all the way with our bum on the ground. Nice. We'll put our feet together. What is this stretch called? Do you remember? Our pike stretch. And what kind of toes do we do? We do pointed toes. And what's the other kind? Flex toes. Can we do pointed toes first? And we're going to reach up. We're going to touch them 10 times, but I want you guys to come with me. Okay, you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Nice job. What about our flex toes? Can you point them up to you? And we're going to walk our fingers all the way down and try and touch our toes or the bottom of your feet. And if that's too easy, can you lift your heels off the ground so your feet shouldn't be touching the ground at all? That one's tough, right? Can you show me a table? So hands behind you. Feet in front, push your bum. Good job. Push your belly's almost up the sky, right? Can you lift one foot? And your other foot. And we'll come down. Can we do three big rock and rolls? Still hug our knees. And don't let go, okay? So rock. And roll. Ready? Two. And one more. Three. Nice job. And this time when we do a table, can you do one hand? Can you wave? And we'll try your other hand. Nice job. And this time we're going to do straight rock and roll. So make sure you have plenty of room so you don't kick the wall. So our legs go up, just like our pike stretch. We'll put our arms out. We're going to try and kick the ceiling. So make sure there's nothing up there. All right. Ready, set, go. Good job. That was one. Can we do two more? Ready, two. And we'll do one more. Ready? Three. Nice job. Can you show me your cat stretch? So sit, just like me. Sit on your feet. And we're going to walk your hands up as far as you can with your head down. And what sound does a cat make? Do you think we can do all our dog stretch? So can you put your hands back? Or is on your feet? Put your toes on the ground and you're going to push your bum all the way up to the sky, okay? Next up. And can you walk your hands back to your feet? And we're going to stand up tall and we'll do our tree stretch. So hands up. Can you put one foot on your knee? And we'll balance. Can you come to five? Ready? One, two, 
three, four, five, and we'll do our other foot. One, two, three, four, five, and we'll do one more. Do you remember this? Put our hands out and we put one foot behind us. Or you can put your hands to the side. And we'll count to five. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, and we'll do your other foot. One, two, three, four, five. All right, you guys are gonna take a second, you can get a sip of water and grab your cups and your ball. And once you have those, we're gonna stack them up. So I have five cups, so I'm gonna put them out. So that's one, two, and if you have three, I want you to try and do this. Can you put one cup in the middle of the others? And if you have more than three, we'll do this. We'll put three on the floor. And can you put one in the middle of the first two? And one in the middle of the second two? And then we'll put one on top. So it makes a nice tower. We're gonna take our ball, we're gonna scoop back, and we're gonna sit in our straddle. So our legs are out. And we have the ball and we're just gonna roll it today. So don't throw it, okay? So keep the ball on the floor. We're gonna roll it and we're gonna try and knock all the cups down. Ready, set, go. Nice. All right, grab the ball, we'll do it again. We'll see if we can get the rest of the cups. So we'll go back. I'm gonna move these ones out of the way. Go back to where you were, sitting on your straddle. We're gonna try and get the other cups if you didn't get all yours. You ready? One, two, three. Nice. All right, can we do that again? But we're gonna try and make it harder. So if you can move back a little bit further, you're gonna do that, but if not, you're gonna have to move your cups up, okay? So I'm gonna move my cups, you might not be able to see them, but I'm gonna set them up the same way. We're gonna stack them. And then I'm going to take my ball and I'm going to go back to where I was in my straddle. I'm going to try and get all the balls down, but I'm or all the cups down, but I'm still going to roll it. All right. So take your ball. You're going to roll it on the floor. Ready? Set. Go. Nice job. We'll do it one more time. Try and get the rest of the cups down. Ready? Set. Go. Okay. Nice job. All right. Once we have that, can you take all of your cups? And we're going to put one inside the other so you can stack them this way if you want. And we're going to count. So, how many cups do you have? We'll count them as you stack them. Once you're done, you're going to put your cups on the side. And we're going to start with our forward roll, just like we did a couple weeks ago. So can you stand up tall? And I want to see you do it all by yourself. I don't have enough room in my room to do it. I might kick something. So let me see you do it. We'll start together. You ready? Hands up. We'll touch the ground. And look at your belly, and let me see you roll. We'll do a forward roll, just like that. Nice job. Make sure you look at your belly. And then once you're done, can you sit like me with our hands up? And we'll lay down. And do you remember our log roll? So roll all the way forward. Roll all the way to the side. And then roll all the way back. Very good. And then one more thing. Do you remember we did our balance beam last week? So we're going to do that. We'll start forward. So remember when you walk forward, you want one foot in front of the other. So the back of your foot goes right to your toes. So you're going to back up just where you were when you were throwing your ball. You go one foot in front of the other. And we'll walk all the way to the, till I say stop. And freeze. We'll turn around. And you're going to do the same thing back. So one foot in front of the other. Nice 
step. This time, can we do backwards? So the same thing, you're gonna have one foot down and you're gonna put your other foot right behind it. And we'll do that all the way, just like we did with our forward. And turn. We'll go all the way back. Nice job. And this time, can we do tippy toes? So hands up, up on our tippy toes. I want to see you walk nice and straight. And we'll turn around. We'll do the same thing back. Nice job. All right. Now, can you come sit like me? So just like our cat, you're gonna sit on your feet. We're gonna practice something new. So when we do our handstands, we wanna make sure we have strong arms, okay? So can you put your hands down? Just like this, so we're bend your elbows. Do you think these are strong arms? So let me see, they're not strong arms, right? So we wanna have nice strong arms, so can you push? We have nice strong arms, so they're nice and straight, right? And can you go back? We'll go push, push through, kind of like you're trying to push the floor away from you, right? And we'll do one more, ready? And push. Nice job. This time, can you sit like me? So still on our feet, put your hands here. And do you think you can try and bring your shoulders to your ears? So we're gonna try and shrug your shoulders all the way up to your ears. We'll do it again. We'll do one more. Nice job. And then this time we're gonna put our hands up and you're gonna try and do the same thing. So hands up. You're gonna try and push your shoulders to your ears, just like that. We'll do it again. Push. Nice job. We'll do one more, you ready? This time when you do it, I want you to have straight arms so we can pretend they're nice and strong, like we're pushing against the ceiling. Ready? Go, push. Push, push, push. Nice job. All right, so that's what we're gonna do when we do our handstand, okay? So we wanna have nice strong arms and we want our shoulders nice and tight to our ears. The first thing we're gonna do, do you guys remember our lunge from class? So we'll put our hands on our hips and our feet together. And do you remember our lunge? Should you take one step forward? And do you remember you bend your knee? So just like this, put one foot forward. And you bend your knee, just like this. Ready, we'll do it again. Feet together, step forward, and lunge. Good job. Can we do your other foot? So put your other foot forward, and lunge. Ready? Other foot forward, and lunge. Then this time, can we do with our hands up above our head? So you can do any foot you want, but our hands are going up. So step. And lunge. You see where my shoulders are? They're covering my ears, right? Ready? We'll start again. So hands up. Step. And lunge. So you should be just like this. Ready? Hands up. Step. And lunge. Right. Do you think we can try the other foot? Hands up. Other foot forward. And lunge. Nice job. We'll go this way. Step. And lunge. Very good. All right. Next step we're going to do is hands up. We're going to add to this. So you're going to lunge forward just like you were. And then you're going to lift one foot off the ground. So our arms are going to be out straight. Ready? We'll go this way. So we're going to step. With our hands up, we're going to lunge. And you're gonna keep your hands up, but you've got to step, put one foot up. Ready, can you do that? So start, hands down and feet together. We put our arms up. Step, lunge, and you're gonna bring one foot up. Make sure we don't kick anything. Ready again? Hands up, step forward, lunge. And bring one foot up. Nice job. Can you try your other foot? So hands up. 
One foot forward, lunge, and bring that foot up. Good job. All right, this time, when we add to it, we're gonna put our hands on the floor. So this is kind of what we usually do. So ready? Start together, hands down, feet together. Hands up. You're gonna step forward. You're gonna lunge, so bend your knee. Lift your foot up, and you're gonna put your hands on the floor. All right, so your hands will go on the floor, and you're gonna bring your foot up. Like this. Right, but keep our head down. You ready? Hands up. You're gonna lunge. Hands down, and put your foot up to the side. And then we're gonna stand right back up. And we'll do it again. Ready? Hands up. Step forward and lunge. You're gonna go down and kick that foot up and we'll stand. Do you think we can do that fast? So ready, feet together. Hands up, we're gonna step, lunge, put one foot up to the sky and then stand. Nice job. Is that one tough? Should we do it fast one more time before we do the next step? So feet together, you ready? Hands way up. You're gonna step, lunge, hands down, put one foot up and then stand up nice and tall. So I want you guys to always stand nice and tall at the end, okay? And when we're doing this, this time we're gonna kick our feet. So I want you to try and land back on your feet, okay? And I'm not gonna kick super high because I have a ceiling fan, I don't wanna kick it. <laughs> so ready? We're gonna hands up, you're gonna lunge, you're gonna put your hands down, and you're gonna kick two feet up. So this foot comes up, and then your other foot, and then you stand. Do you think you can do that again? We'll start all the way at the beginning. And remember, we don't wanna land on our knees. Can we try and land on our feet so we don't hurt our knees? So ready, hands up. Step forward, you're gonna lunge. Hands down, kick one foot and then another. And then you're gonna stand right back up. So this time when you do it, let me see how high you can kick, okay? I don't wanna kick the fan. So ready? Hands up. Step forward, lunge, hands down, you're gonna kick. And then come right back down, right back up. All right, you ready? We'll do one more. Let me see how high you can kick this time. Ready? Good job. All right, I want you guys to keep practicing that so next week when we practice again, I can see them nice and good, okay? I'll see you guys next week.